Well, this is Music Man from his man cave, and after the Bourne identity and he walked away, of course we have a opportunity for Jason Bourne to fight another day. So comes out the Bourne supremacy. You think this would actually come before the ultimatum, but no. Or the ultimatum would come before this one. And the supremacy, because he's supreme, would actually uh, come out, you know, never mind. But one thing I did notice, he can shoot with both hands. Look, and this one, he is left-handed. And this one, he's right-handed. Is there nothing that Jason Bourne can't do? Let's talk about it. Music Man from his Man Cave. Well, after the Bourne identity, uh, Jason Bourne ha is in a tropical paradise with his love, and he's still trying to piece back together parts of his memory because he, remember, has amnesia, and he's a lethal weapon. So uh, anyway, uh, this movie starts off in a way that I did not like. It's just my personal thing. They kill his love. The girl that he was riding around in the Mini Cooper and the Bourne identity with, they have an assassin come and try to kill Jason Bourne. And, uh, of course, that's very sad, And but that's not what the movie's about. The movie's about discovering more about Jason Bourne. And, and it's about, you know, um, irony, and it's about foreshadowing, and it's about layers. And it's about uh, digging deeper into this character, and, and who is he, and what all happened, and how did he become like this, and why does he have amnesia, and on, on and on it goes. Well, this movie then turns into a full-fledged, chase one big chase after another uh jason bourne gets involved uh, back with the government because he he of course they discover that he's back on the move of course he's back on the move they just killed his love so um they're trying to you know capture him kill him don't know really uh they're they're after him and he's discovering more and more about himself i was wrong he's not just a secret agent he's an assassin wasn't well, that the same thing well, not necessarily. You know, you see, there can be secret agents that aren't assassins, but he's an assassin, and he's having these memories of going into a motel somewhere in Russia and uh, killing uh, somebody, killing a family. and just it, So these memories are coming back to him. And so anyway, uh, this movie is, uh, you can tell that it's like the middle movie. They always do it in threes. Because uh, the movie's got a lot of chase and a lot of action and a lot of, you know, and, and it's almost turning into completely James Bond. I like the first movie better than this one. Um, you're, you are discovering more about Jason Bourne. However, uh, I feel like that's lost in a lot of just continual chase scenes. The chase scenes are well done. There's only, only so much that I can sit and watch chase scene after chase scene and so forth. Of course, then there's the brutal fighting. Um, he His hand-to-hand -hand combat, amazing. He's brutal. Um, he kills uh, other assassins that are trying to kill him, of course, in brutal and, and graphic ways. So I'm really wondering how this movie stayed in the PG-13 category because, uh, you know, that's what happens. Anyway... Um, I enjoyed this movie for what it was. It was a good action thriller romp. Um, of course, he now even goes further and discovers there's more to this Treadstone than it was an originally thought. And um, so there's others like him, and he's trying to figure some more out, and there's more details laid out. And it would take me probably a 45-minute video to talk about all the details of this movie and all the little intricate things that are revealed about this Jason Bourne, and his real name is, you know, you know, whatever, and they'll say that in the next movie, they'll tell you what his real name is. And so, uh, anyway, um, I enjoyed the movie, uh, I thought it was very well done. This one um, uh, ends with Jason Bourne sitting down with a Russian girl that's pretty, and apologizing for assassinating his family, because obviously he has regained his humanity, he didn't want to be the evil creation that the government made. So it's kind of like a, a soldier story, and, and it's kind of s sad and melancholy. Um, anyway, um, it's great viewing. It's interesting. I can watch it again and again, and every time you watch it, there's secret little things that you see that you didn't see before. So uh, check it out again. Music Man, signing off.